What does manifestation really mean? It is often tossed around as a trendy buzzword. It is a profound psychological process as well. Manifestation is not about hocus pocus or wishful thinking, but rather about bringing something tangible into your life through the power of attraction and belief. Imagine a seed. This seed represents your thoughts, your dreams, and your aspirations. When you plant this seed in the fertile soil of your mind and nurture it with positive thinking and unwavering belief, you enable it to sprout and grow into a tangible reality. This is the essence of manifestation. However, let's debunk a common misconception. Manifestation isn't about demanding what you want and expecting the universe to deliver it on a silver platter. It's about aligning your thoughts, emotions and actions with your desired outcome, creating the conditions for it to occur. So, you see, manifestation is not some magic trick. It's a conscious process of creating what you want. Now that we know what manifestation is, let's delve into the science behind it. At the heart of manifestation is a concept called the law of attraction. This law is based on the idea that like attracts like. So if you're constantly thinking positive thoughts, you'll attract positive experiences into your life. On the flip side, if you're always dwelling on the negative, you're likely to attract more negativity. But how exactly does this work? Well, it all boils down to our thoughts and how they can influence our reality. You see, our thoughts aren't just mental processes. They generate a real, measurable energy that can interact with the world around us. Now you might be thinking, that sounds a bit too mystical for my taste. Where's the science? And you're right to ask. So let's talk about some scientific studies that support this concept. First off, we have the placebo effect. This is a phenomenon where a patient's condition improves simply because they believe the treatment they're receiving will help them, even if the treatment has no therapeutic value. In essence, their positive expectation manifests into a tangible outcome. Then, we have theories from the world of quantum physics. Some interpretations of quantum mechanics suggest that our observations can directly influence the outcome of events at a subatomic level. In other words, the act of observing or thinking about something can change the reality of that thing. Even though these theories and effects are still topics of ongoing research and debate, they do provide some scientific grounding to the concept of manifestation. They tell us that our thoughts are not just idle chatter in our heads, they have the potential to shape our experiences and the world around us. Remember, your mind is a powerful tool, it can be your greatest ally, or your toughest adversary, so why not harness its power to attract positivity and abundance into your life? That's the science behind manifestation, it's all about the power of your mind. Now, the big question, is manifestation real? In the vast landscape of human beliefs, perspectives on manifestation are as varied as the colors on a painter's palette. On one side of the spectrum, we have the skeptics, they argue that manifestation is nothing more than wishful thinking, a comforting illusion we create to make sense of the world. They'll point to the lack of scientific evidence and claim that if you can't measure it in a lab, it simply doesn't exist. They see the world in black and white, a place governed by the laws of physics and nothing more. On the other side we have the believers. They see the world in vibrant hues, a place where the mind has the power to shape reality, they speak of quantum physics and the power of thought, of vibrations and energy fields. They'll tell you stories of how they've manifested their deepest desires, of how a thought became a reality through the power of belief. Take the story of Jim Carrey, for instance. Long before he became a household name, he wrote himself a check for $10 million for acting services rendered, dating it for Thanksgiving 1995. Just before that date, he landed a movie role earning him the exact amount. Coincidence or manifestation? You decide. Then there's the tale of Sarah Centrella, a single mother who used vision boards and affirmations to manifest her dream life, going from struggling to pay the bills to becoming a successful author and motivational speaker. Believers will tell you that these stories aren't mere coincidences, but examples of the power of the human mind. They emphasize that belief is the key you have to believe in the possibility, believe in the process, and most importantly, believe in yourself. So is manifestation real? 
Well, the answer isn't as simple as yes or no, it's as complex and multifaceted as we are. What we can say with certainty is this, manifestation, like beauty, lies in the eye of the beholder. Whether manifestation is real or not, largely depends on your belief system. Assuming you're interested, how does one manifest their desires? Let's break down the process of manifestation into simple steps. First, we focus on clarity. It's crucial to know exactly what you desire. If you're unsure, your energy will scatter and it may lead to unsatisfactory results. So, take some time to reflect. What do you truly want? Is it a promotion, a loving relationship, or perhaps a dream holiday? Once you've identified your desires, write them down. This will help you concentrate your energy and intention. Next, we move to visualization. This is where you use your imagination to create a mental picture of your desire. Try to include as many details as possible. If it's a dream holiday, imagine the location, the people around you, the food you will eat, the clothes you will wear. Engage all your senses. The more real it feels, the better. This mental image serves as a blueprint for the universe, guiding it towards the creation of your desire. Now, let's talk about positive affirmations. These are powerful statements that you repeat to yourself, reinforcing your belief in the possibility of your desires. Positive affirmations are like seeds you plant in your subconscious mind. Each time you repeat them, you water these seeds, allowing them to grow and eventually manifest in your reality. But what about the challenges in this process? One of the most common is doubt. It's natural to question the process, especially if your desires don't manifest immediately. But remember, doubt is a form of negative energy that can hinder the manifestation process. To overcome this, practice patience and persistence. Keep affirming, keep visualizing, and most importantly, keep believing. Another challenge is negative self-talk. This is where you tell yourself that you're not worthy of your desires. To combat this, always remind yourself of your worth. You are deserving of all the good things you desire. Manifestation is a process. It takes time, practice, and most importantly, belief. So keep going, keep manifesting, and soon enough, you'll see your desires transform into your reality. Now, how does manifestation relate to our lives? Well, it's quite simple. Manifestation plays a significant role in our daily existence. It's like the compass guiding us through the vast ocean of life, steering us towards our desired destinations. But it's not just about reaching a particular goal, it's also about the journey, the growth and the transformation that accompanies it. Let's consider goal setting for instance. We all have dreams, ambitions and targets that we aspire to achieve. When we visualize these goals clearly and affirm them with conviction, we are essentially manifesting our desires. This process of manifestation propels us forward, providing us with the drive and motivation to work towards our objectives. But it doesn't stop there. Manifestation is also deeply entwined with self-improvement. When we manifest, we're not just focusing on the external achievements, we're also fostering inner growth. We're encouraging ourselves to evolve, to break free from limiting beliefs, and to step into our true potential. It's like planting a seed within us that gradually grows into a resilient tree, standing tall and strong amidst life's storms. Moreover, manifestation contributes to our overall life satisfaction. When we manifest, we cultivate a positive mindset. We learn to view the world through a lens of abundance rather than scarcity. We appreciate what we have while also aspiring for more. This balanced perspective enhances our quality of life, making us happier, more content, and more at peace with ourselves. But remember, manifestation is not about wishful thinking or daydreaming. It's about aligning our thoughts, emotions and actions with our desires. It's about believing in our capabilities, taking decisive action, and persevering in the face of obstacles. When we do this, we create a powerful synergy that turns our dreams into reality. Manifestation, when practiced consciously, can be a powerful tool for personal growth. So we've covered a lot about manifestation today. It's a concept that's as intriguing as it is elusive, isn't it? We've looked into the science behind it, delving into the quantum realm and the impact of our thoughts on our reality. We've examined the question, is manifestation real? 
and discovered that while it may not be universally accepted, there's a growing body of evidence suggesting its potential. We've also explored how to manifest, understanding that it's a process requiring not just thought, but also emotion and action. Finally, we've looked at how manifestation relates to our everyday lives, highlighting its role in shaping our experiences and outcomes. Now, manifestation isn't a magic wand that grants instant wishes. It's about aligning your thoughts and actions with your desires. Remember, whether you think you can or you can't, you are right.